in this part of the uh, like compliance lecture, <laughs> whatever we want to call it, we're going to look at when, when you are using components. So say that we're developing a software called Cairo. Then the first thing we need to do, of course, is to determine uh, the dependencies for that program. And for Cairo, which is an existing program, so we're not creating it. We're, in this case, we are just looking at it. So there's a couple of different dependencies. So Cairo depends on phone config, which in turn uh, depends on a couple of other things. So this is like a graph of the dependencies uh, for Cairo. How would we find out this graph for Cairo? If, if I went to their Git repository, download the code, is there a way for me to find out the, these dependencies? Or <sighs> Yes and no. <laughs> I'm sorry. The, uh, with Cairo, you can probably configure it to exclude PNG. I'm just making things up here. Yeah, or yeah. you can uh, make it exclude Zlib, for example. So mm -hmm. depending on the configuration, the dependencies are different. So probably you need to do that at runtime in, in, in some ways. For example, if you're using Yocto, then Yocto can produce uh, the, uh, the like dependencies for you. Yeah. Uh, and and if you're using CMake, you can probably do some clever things with that. The uh, what what is important is to understand when working with compliance that not all uh, build system have a systematic or easily like understood uh, dependency. Uh, they they can drag in dependencies like with a simple mm -hmm. kernel command, for example. So mm -hmm. mind you, this is a tricky thing. And I suppose for, for your like local development, you just have to look at Cairo and then see, oh, it uses font config. And then you look at the repository for font config and you see, oh, it uses expat. And mm, something like that, yeah. Uh, unless you have a, a sort of uh, like a build system like Yocto that does all of that for you, mm. which is great. And once we've found the dependencies, we need to look into the licenses. We need to know each and every license of every dependency. We need to know the copyright holders of each and every dependency and the authors of each and every dependency. Do you actually so when need you to know the copyright holders for depending on the on the license type? I mean, for a GPL, there is no attribution. Do you, do you need to know them then? Um, there are some licenses where you uh, uh, like don't need to to even attribute uh, or. Uh, it's not copy lifted or it's not, but I would say find this and uh, this makes life lives easier. And when you say you need it for every dependency, then it also means that every dependency itself can be built up of files from different with different licenses and so on, isn't it? And then you would mm -hmm. have a list of licenses per dependency. Yep. Okay. And it's quite a hairy beast. So we, 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 next slide, we're going to look at that. In order to find the copyright holders, authors, and licenses, there's a couple of tools. We can either check what is stated in the source code. That is something we touched upon earlier, that uh, a license can say that uh, all this project is uh, licensed on the GPL v3, but there may be some files that are not, you know, you cannot be sure. So usually what you do is you scan every source code file, whether to like scan code or Fosology license finder. There's more tools. There's even some proprietary tools. Um, there's some, what do you say, wrappers like uh, ORT and Quartermaster that helps with this. But it's you basically need to look at the source code in order to find the copyright holders and the licenses. So if we look at Cairo, for example, um, continue with that, it's Cairo itself is licensed under MPL 1 and LGPL version 2.1. But and when you Cairo, say and, does that mean that all of it is under both or that there are different files under different licenses? Uh, in this case, uh, it, first of all, it means it's licensed under both. But th that um, it could mean that Cairo as a whole is licensed on the both. 
So you need to investigate uh, investigate that situation. So going back to uh, like <sighs> adjusting the build, so it may be that oh you don't want documentation, then that license goes out. So it could be that it's mm -hmm. only LGPL version two dot one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, so, and Does, uh, for example, Yocto help with this? Uh, do, do they have built in like this uh, runtime or at least build time uh, dependency graph? Uh, so, depending on if you pull in the documentation or not, it will show that you have those licenses or not. Do you know this? Y yeah, I'm quite sure. Uh, how do I know? Because I'm working. <laughs> Uh, as you know, <laughs> we are colleagues, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and, and I'm working with um, Yocto. What I'm doing at the moment is I'm, I'm writing some kind of tool that takes whatever Yocto spits out and turns that into a format that I need. So, yes, uh, Yocto is quite good at that. Okay. I'm saying quite because uh, I'm a coward. <laughs> Yocto is really good yeah. at that one. I, I was also working with with Yocto for quite some time and I don't remember being able to to like in one recipe decide that if we don't build this then this license doesn't apply and stuff like this but perhaps I'm just missing something uh, in the recipes there, there are like <laughs> it took me a while to figure out so it, it's solved in the uh, BB files and the uh, yeah, whatever it's called, there are some other files, but yeah, Maybe it's all. But let's that. not go too much into uh, Yocto. Yeah. Yeah, Is it true. the core problem that uh, all packages and when we talk about the names here, they are project based while the licenses are file based? So, I mean, that that's why it's even a question. Um, yeah. yeah, and I would say <laughs> in some cases they are line based. <laughs> 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 yeah, we talked about having a different license for for your source code comments than from your source yeah. code just to fuck with the Ooh. system. <laughs> let, let's let end that. <laughs> <laughs> so let's take a break and continue with how to determine compliance. Yeah, and, and thanks everyone for listening. Um, as you might know, we're we're both a pod and a YouTube channel at the moment. Uh, we still appreciate likes and subscribes on the YouTube channel to uh, to reach the critical limit of a thousand subscribers. Last time I checked, we were at four eighty six. I was thinking Pentium right away, uh, <laughs> but we're we're getting there, and we're we're thankful for for everyone helping out there. Also, reach out uh, via. Do we have an email on our website or something? Yeah, we have the info at uh, fos-north.se. Um, so if you have questions or uh, tips and stuff, then please share with us. Yep. Super. See you next week. See ya. Bye. Bye.